The nation's youngest senator, Katie Britt of Alabama, is about to get a national spotlight that another Republican senator would crave. She has been chosen to give the GOP's response next week after President Biden's State of the Union address. She's only been on the job for a little more than a year. So why Katie Britt? NBC 15 star on Singleton took that question to one local political pundit who says it's simple. When she speaks, constituents listen. God bless you, God bless the great state of Alabama, and God bless the United States of America. And with that, then 40-year-old Katie Britt, an Enterprise native, became the youngest U.S. Senator, not just for Alabama, but for the nation. It didn't take long for Britt to find herself on a handful of committees touching everything from commerce and justice to science, health, and education. But today's announcement that Britt would be the one delivering the rebuttal to President Biden's State of the Union address, well, that might still catch some in her party by surprise. This man is not one of them. She has made almost no missteps since she got elected to the Senate. She has been probably the single best communicator Republicans have found in the last decade uh, in, in, in either the House or the Senate. Political columnist and writer Quinn Hillier says he knew right away Britt was a standout, and he isn't shy about saying why. What Katie Britt does that too many Republicans have forgotten how to do is she knows how to bring important issues down to the kitchen counter level. She talks about how the issues affect ordinary Americans in their daily lives. Republican leaders have recognized that, which is why they are choosing her to, to give this response. I am a mama on a mission, and I'm going to the Senate with some novel concepts to make common sense, common again, to implement solutions, to achieve real positive results, and to make our great state and nation stronger for our children and our grandchildren. Hillier tells me there's another reason why her brand of politics is in need by her party. The area where Republicans in general and Trump in particular have done really badly in the last 15 years or so is appealing to uh, suburban women. They, they used to do well with su suburban women last 15 years, not so much. Speaking of Trump and his hold on the GOP, what might he think of this? I would be very surprised if this choice was not cleared through Trump. I'm not saying Trump made the choice, but I feel very, very sure that they, the, the House and Senate Republican leaders did not make the choice without running it up the flagpole with Trump. Hillier says Britt's choice might also be a wake-up call for how others run their own campaigns. Katie Britt does not scare anybody in a bad way. She doesn't scare voters away. She attracts voters. In Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News. The State of the Union address is next Thursday at 8 p.m.